I live in the Finger Lakes, and large numbers of diving ducks use the Finger Lakes as a wintering ground. Their arrival time depends a lot on the weather. In years when it's cold late in the fall and early in the winter, there can be good numbers of diving ducks on the lakes before our late duck season is over. Redheads make up a large percentage of those diving ducks. The redheads and other divers sit on the water in large rafts. If you're a duck hunter, there's nothing like seeing a flock of redheads that resembles a swarm of bees circle and pile into your decoys. For decoying these ducks, there's drawing power in numbers. A large, tight decoy spread that resembles a small raft is most effective. I use decoys on multiple long lines to try and mimic that look. I make up my long lines to accept 12 to 15 decoys each. I wanted to try bagging redheads over a spread that included some homemade decoys. I started this project a while ago, but didn't document any of my progress. So as I resume the project this off season, I'm going to try to show you step by step what I'm doing. I needed a plan, so I did some looking. I didn't find a redhead plan specifically, but what I found was a plan for working bluebill decoys, and I figured I could use that with some minor modifications. Here's the plan. It has a good side profile view, a bottom view, and several head shapes including a dabbler head, a low head, a preener head, and a standard head. I'm making the bodies out of basswood. I have a friend that knew I wanted to make some decoys and he set aside a basswood log for me. Another friend has a bandsaw mill and he cut me a couple of four inch by eight inch by roughly six foot chunks. The basswood will be easy to work with overall, easy to cut, shape, and sand, but one drawback will be unless I hollow the decoys out, they're going to be heavy. My first step is I'm going to trace that top bottom profile on the surface. Now I'm going to take that to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut that profile out. Before I cut that side profile, I'm going to lay out and I'm going to route a shelf for the head to sit on. It's a lot easier while I still have that top surface to work from. That shelf will be for an eventual head to sit on. I'm going to take those cutoffs from where I cut that profile. That's going to set back on there and help keep that steady so that I can cut this side profile. In addition, I'm going to add back these chunks. I'm going to tape, that, tape them in place.
I'm going to trace that side profile on there. Whoops. I'm going to trace that side profile on there. And I'm going to cut that out on a bandsaw. With that side profile cut out, I'm going to have something that looks like that. Then I knocked off the corners, did some rough knocking of the corners off on a bandsaw. And there's my rough blank. I'm going to do some rough material removal and shaping. And I'm going to use good old-fashioned spoke shaves. After shaping with a spoke shave, here's what I have. Now I'm going to use a Dremel tool. I'm going to use a Dremel tool and I'm going to remove some material as well. And shaped and ready for everybody's favorite part, the sanding. You have to keep in mind they're gunning decoys and it doesn't require a showpiece quality sanding. And after a little hand sanding, that's a wrap on part one.